big uh, series, we hope, coming up, uh, the British and Irish Lions coming out to South Africa. Uh, if it does still happen, and we really do hope it will, uh, what do you see happening in that series? Uh, it's going to be... Um... I've, I've always loved the Lions. It's been, you know, something I was I was brought up with. Between, believe it or not, uh, watching South Africa and watching the Lions was sort of, you know, childhood dreams were made of those great teams through the sort of the 70s and, and early 80s. Um, but they're such an iconic brand, um, and I'm I'm thrilled that it looks like it's going to go ahead. Um, they, they've picked a really strong team. Um, and they'll need to um, because you know, South Africa are current world champions uh, as they are. Uh, they were quite phenomenal in 2019 at that, in that World Cup. And you know, the Lions are going to have the work cut out. It's going to be a different sort of Lions tour. Uh, sadly, we won't, won't have the same fanfare as, as previous Lions tours. I think uh, the last one, to, um, you know, what, we, what we saw in the last tour was was the fans are such a big part of it but unfortunately we're not going to have that um and we we don't know and you know better than i do guys that you know south africa haven't played since 2019 um so it might be a level playing field i suppose although a lot of the the lions uh, have played a lot of rugby they haven't played for the last four years either so um it could be could be quite an epic uh, contest well, I think it's uh, worth making the point that the Springboks haven't lost uh, since October 2019, so we've got a long unbeaten run.